what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so recently there's been some drama between brianna concerning kale and ashley and when everything popped off it was after last week's episode of teen mom 2 kale was not featured on the episode ashley and bart had to up and move the space that they moved into was a really nice house but ashley said they had to pay like a year's rent in advance basically she says that they're renting obviously they didn't buy the home they're renting a home and they had to pay a year's worth of rent in advance now after last week's episode brianna for some reason decided to jump on social media and blast kale for like not putting her real life on the show in essence causing her to be dropped from this past episode and then like calling Ashley out for filming in a rental. Not really sure why that matters. Kale responds in some sort of video, maybe a TikTok, Instagram, not sure. Anyways, she gets on and she says, has anyone ever blocked you? And then, and then out of nowhere, we hear Ashley talk crap about you on the internet, like put a name on it. Like, and I'm like, whoa, what is Ashley doing with Kale? Like you could tell, obviously they were together. What they were doing was filming a episode for Kale's podcast, Coffee Convos. Ashley went and she done the podcast with Kale and she actually had a lot to say. Things that I had no idea. Uh, she talks about being a stripper in her past to make ends meet. She talks about why her love for Bar runs so deep, the things that they've been through together. And she talks about how they lived in a trap house together. So, um, yeah, all that on Coffee Convos. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of some of the things that she talked about. A lot of people have said, like, why do you stay with Bar? Like, holy crap. You know, he doesn't bring anything to the table. So, like, what's the deal? These are some of the things that she said on the podcast. She said, you know what? People don't understand Bar and I. But Bar and I have been homeless together. We've been through so much that we were just trying to make it effing work. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard, like, that they were homeless together. But one thing that I have learned with covering Teen Mom, a lot of times their past is not talked about that much. Like there were several things that I didn't know about Kale when she was younger. And, you know, so a lot of times when you get them on like a podcast or a YouTube channel where they really go in depth with their life before the show, you find out so much more. So yeah, she talks about how there was at one point where they were so bad off that she began working as a stripper to help make ends meet. She said that it wasn't something that she was proud of. And she also talks about how basically her family like kind of disowned her a little bit because of that. She said it definitely caused her problems within her family. She says her grandfather is a psychology professor and her grandmother was the first black woman to work in major league sports. She says her family is pro-black, pro-education. So for them to find out that she was stripping they were not happy about it at all. And she said, my grandparents were literally like, you're out of the wheel. Good luck, B-I-T-Z-H. Ashley said after that, she did not talk to her family for a while. And Barr was the only one there for her. She talked about during her time of stripping. She said, people don't know this, but when I was stripping, I felt so low. I was like, this is who you are. Um, and she said Barr really like kind of talked her up during that, that he would tell her like, look, this ain't who you are. You're somebody and you can do better. Like if you want to quit, quit. I got you. I'm here for you. She said that Barr was there for her during her darkest times, the lowest times in her life, that Barr was right there by her side, like basically like being positive. Like we got this, we can do this together. She says, so just because you see things about Barr doesn't mean I have to put him in the disposal. We've been through the effing ringer together. She also explained that her and Barr both grew up without their biological fathers. And even though they go through a lot of crazy stuff, they're pushing through for their daughter, Holly. They don't want their daughter to end up without one of her parents. They want to maintain that family unit together so they can give Holly a more stable family dynamic, family unit than they had growing up. Now, on, like I said on last week's episode, we got to see the couple move into a very nice home that they had to pay the whole year's worth of rent just to get it. Um, and I think a lot of that, I think Ashley said a lot of that did stem from like some of their situation, bar, you know, having this ankle bracelet and uh, some past issues that they had, but now they do have a nice house. And she said that was not always the case, that they lived in a trap house at one time. She said there was no running water, that there was times that they had no heat, they had no way to even warm food up, uh, which is really 
come to think about it because I think when Ashley got pregnant, I think she was 18. I tried to look it up really quick, but I can't find where anywhere where it actually says her age. But I think she was maybe 17 or 18 when she had Holly. So just to think about the fact that at a point before that age, because before she got pregnant with Holly, she was a stripper. Her and her boyfriend were living together in a trap house. There were times where they had no electricity. They had no heating. They had no running water. Could you imagine that at the ages of 16, 17 years old, dealing with that with your boyfriend? It caused her problems with her family because of her stripping. Like her mom even told her, like, you gotta come home. She said, when I told my mom, that I couldn't even warm food up. My mom was like, you guys gotta come back. She says, but there was a point where Barr and her were at their lowest of lows in the cold together because they didn't even have heat and they just rode it out together. They were determined to get up on their feet together. She said, so we were together trying to get body heat between us and that's what kept us going and no one knows that. That's why we have something deep. When I couldn't do it, when I was pregnant, Barr was doing it. Um, now, if you watch the show, we know that Barr has the DUI. He's got the ankle monitor. So now in the episodes, we see Ashley driving him everywhere. But Ashley says before it was the opposite, that Barr was actually the one taking her, her everywhere, that he would take her to school. He would take her to work and he would tell her, you have to go to school. You have to finish school. Like, I don't care if I got to put my dreams on hold. I don't care if I have to sacrifice myself. You're going to go to school and you're going to make something of yourself. On the podcast, she is quoted as saying, he was taking me to school, still making it work, and we didn't even have a roof over our heads. He told me to go to school and he was like, you're going to be who you want to be, even if I have to sacrifice myself for you to get yours. It definitely gives you more understanding for why Ashley has always went back to bar. You know, a lot of people comment like, why did they get back together? Why did they get back together? But when you hear about in their earlier years, literally, literally teenagers, she's 16, 17 years old, everything that they've been through together, it gives, to me, it gives me more of an understanding why she would get back with him. They've really been through a lot together. I mean, I've never been homeless with anyone. You know, I've never been without, uh, power. Well, you know, when the power goes out, but never been without water, power, a way to warm my food up at all. I'm 33. I've never been, been through that with anyone. But if I was to go through that with someone, I think that person, especially if they like took care of me during that time, I definitely think I would have like a special place in my heart for them. Bar, we do know he has since gotten his GED. We saw him on the show go to court. It was pushed back. However, since then, he has racked up another arrest um, in May when he was charged with willful discharge of a firearm in negligent manner. And he will have to go to court for that sometime in the future. And when he does, I'll give you guys an update of how that transpires, how that works out. It's probably gonna be a violation of his probation, I feel like, but we'll see. But yeah, does that give you guys a better understanding for why Ashley usually gets back with Barr and why Barr takes Ashley back? Um, yeah, and how do you guys feel about hearing that when she was just 16 and 17 years old, she was stripping, they were living in a trap house, and things were that bad for them. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do that right now by clicking that button below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.